This is Ripper with the Mac Gamecast, and today I'm going to be showing you some things about Max Payne 3, not actual gameplay, that's other videos. This is some tips and tricks, some troubles I had with launch, maybe some possible workarounds, stuff like that. Um, just trying to help people out, some info about the game. First of all, um, you can get it either from the Mac App Store or you can get it on Steam. They're both identical, they're both the same price, it's just a matter of... Um, you know, where you want to get it, you know, I actually got it on the App Store because it released on the App Store about 12 hours sooner and I actually didn't know the Steam version was coming because Rockstar never said it was. I know people found it in the Steam registry and stuff, but I wanted to really hop on the game. I literally was like the first person to buy it on the App Store, probably anywhere, because I was sitting there refreshing it at like 11.55 p.m., you know, on the 19th night. It was June 20th, it's what, 21st. But then a whole mess of trouble actually getting it to work and run. I had to download it three times, and the download failed once, and the game was like freezing and crashing on me and all this stuff. You know, I initially wrote this review over here. Um, I think after review number, after download number two, I got it running. Um, then I bumped up the settings as it launched, as like launches at minimum settings. And once we start the game, then the game got stuck, and then the game wouldn't launch at all. So I tried redownloading it again. There's a pause. Then this guy down here, I mean, I already figured this out, but what he says is good. Um, you know, as another reviewer said, that's me. He booted it up and had the force quit, and then it wouldn't boot up at all, and it got stuck. But if you reboot your computer, you won't have trouble anymore. So that's a bit of a fix. Uh, last but not least, just have a quick peek here to conf so people can know for sure. This is a cider game. It's done by Transgaming. Here we have Transgaming folder, C drive, Windows, all that. But uh, it is a great performance. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention about the versions is there's cross-platform multiplayer between all versions, App Store, Steam, PC, Mac, whatever, so you don't have to worry about being excluded. Um, Steam still says the DLC is Windows only, I think. No, nope, actually I'm wrong. It is Steam Play, it just wasn't showing. So you can actually buy all the DLC if you want, or I guess the Rockstar Pass, which is another... No? Nope. Yeah. Maybe it's not. Maybe only some of it is. Uh, yeah, okay. Only, I guess, some of the DLC is Steam Play. Doesn't look like all of it for some reason. I guess all the map packs are Steam Play. But, um, anyway, let's load the game here. I recently just had this getting stuck again problem today, and then I registered my computer. This is about an hour ago for doing this video, and it was okay. But I'll show you the screen in case it happens. Loading up here. I was like, how oh, it says, please don't quit or turn off your system. It's a console thing. All right. So this is the screen where you may or may not get stuck at. You do need to log in. Well, you can run an offline profile on the App Store version if you want, but I don't want to. So, yeah, because I want to keep track of my stats and everything. Uh, then we're logged in here. And this little screen right here we just passed is where I can get stuck saying initializing. I'll have to force quit, then the game won't work. If that happens, just restart your computer, you'll be fine. At least on an ATI card. I can't say for NVIDIA. I'll show you my settings here, overlay my specs on the screen. Um, you know, 1920, 1080Res, everything's basically on high except for shadow quality. I don't even know, can it go to high? It can. High and very high. Normal, does it want me? Hmm. I don't think it wants me to restart the game, which is nice, but now it seems to have frozen, so who knows. But, um... Uh, a friend of mine, another fellow journalist, runs an ATI card. Oh, okay. There we go, then. Worked fine. Uh, who has an ATI card, like a Mac Pro, like a really good I don't know, 1.5 gigabyte NVIDIA card, even though it's a few years old, says the game runs terribly for him, even though he has like 10 gigabytes of RAM and again, like a really good processor. So I'm not sure what's going on there, I can't speak for that, but I have an ATI card and these are the settings I'm running and the game runs great, as you'll be able to see in some other gameplay videos. Real smooth, no troubles. Um, once I actually you know, get in the game, I did get a uh, cutscene didn't load once in the beginning after about five minutes and just hung up and I had to quit and so there seems to be a few minor issues anyway but overall the gameplay is really smooth and a whole lot of fun actually no I want to just check the store and you know highly recommend it but um alert the Rockstar Game Service is unavailable what? 
I wanted to show you the store because it also lets you try and buy all the DLC from there. But not all the DLC is actually Mac compatible, so I'm not quite sure what's up with that yet. Anyway, uh, some more videos coming soon, some new multiplayer, story, and arcade. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.